Hello everyone. Welcome to my video. My name is Travis Garrison. Um, I'm a son of the Most High, El Elyon, Yahshua, which is uh, the Hebrew name for Jesus Christ. Um, a lot of people get hung up on the name thing, but the Greek word is Aeus for Jesus is 888 in the Hebrew Gematrio. A new beginning, a new beginning, a new beginning. Now, we got a lot of people. There's a sign going on in the heavens today that a child is being born. Let me just go to that right quick. Um, hopefully, my internet's fast today. First off, I want to give my creator all the honor, glory, and praise. He's been with me since I was five years old. That's the first I remember being introduced into my creator, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Um, so, his name was probably pronounced Yahshua with a Y. That's because uh, it's an English name for Joshua. Jesus is a. But anyway, let me go here right quick. Let's see what's happening today in the heavens. The, the wise men followed a star. Okay. The Bible says there'll be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And uh, if you look up at night, start looking up at night, you'll start seeing things going on in the heavens. Um, just watch constantly. You'll see all kinds of lights because the stars are lights. They're luminaries. That's what the Bible calls them. There's not a such a thing as planets. I've zoomed in so close to them, you can see through them, see through these stars like Mars, Mercury, Venus. You can see through them. You can see they're in water and because uh, it's a vibration taking place, a plasma, electromagnetic light, just like you have in your blood, a fire. Fire and light mean the same thing in the, in the spiritual world. All right. Let's see here what's, uh, I'm just going, I'm going to go ahead and put the, all right. I forget this, put, all right. I did a video on the Nishimura, which means a uh, man child. Um, It's in the constellation, in the womb of Virgo. Now, there's also a child that's been born, an asteroid, a main belt asteroid. Now, a lot of the, there's a lot of stuff going around about all the signs. There's multiple hundreds of asteroids going to the, around the constellation of Virgo at this time. I would be careful, really, you know, because there's a great deception going on. I myself... Keep an op try to keep an open mind about all these uh, watchmen. They call themselves watchmen, uh, showing these signs in this stellarium or any star out ma uh, map, because there's hundreds of signs of biblical astro named asteroids, biblical people like Moses and Elijah. They're in there too. And uh, let's just look here at. Um, for a second. Moses Mendel is in the constellation of Libra, judgment. These are supposed to be the two, what some people think is the two witnesses. I don't think they are, but Elijah for Mina, that's me. It's in the constellation of the scales of justice, judgment. I've, I've said over and over and over. Samson was known, probably known as the biggest judge in the Bible. Folks, all the elite rulers of this world, they call themselves elite. All of them follow the script of the Bible, the stars in the heavens. Uh, Jesus said the star, the, the signs will be in the stars, <clears throat> in the sun, moon, and stars. So I was taught not to look up at it, that it was divination from the church. The church will usher in the Antichrist under law and order, you know, because they... They don't want King Jesus to come. Are they? They a lot of them expect a rapture and all this, but until then, they just want a king to rule over them. 
we was not made to be ruled over, created to be ruled over. Adam and Eve was free. And um, as population increased, they wanted some of them, a lot of the Israelites wanted a king. So God gave them King Saul. And y'all see, if you know anything about the Bible, that's how that ended. But Samson was the best known judge of the whole entire Bible. The day I was born, they released a movie named Samson, the biblical Samson. All right. So what I'm saying is that what the video I'm fixing to do is about some of the Antichrist. Let me read it right quick. I'm going to read this right here. 1 John 2 and 18. As you have heard, the Antichrist, he who will oppose Christ in the guise of Christ. Anyway, Satan can transform himself into an angel of light. He's going to be just like Jesus, except his heart's not right. He's going to do the you know, like law and order, that kind of a thing, as in, like, the people here now want, um, the people now here want to live in peace and security. That means law and order. This Antichrist is going to present himself as the, he's the Antichrist. Antichrist means in place of, you know, a counterfeit so you know um the 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 man of lawlessness the man of sin the antichrist is going to present himself as jesus christ yeshua hamashiach that's what he is coming to do except he is the negative now jesus is that jesus never first off i i started opening my mind up to uh, about the the doctrine of reincarnation because jesus said that john the baptist came is elijah so what does that mean that spirit because we're a spirit in a human body um nothing in the bible says that we can't come back so i'm not saying it's real or it's not i know we're an incarnation of all of our ancestors though that we have their memory stored in our dna and that's what the elite rulers of the world is trying to change your memory cells oh well, anyway um many antichrists have come jesus uh we see that there are many antichrists in the world right now and that they are normal that last days there's going to be several and one of them is elon musk he is an antichrist he's bringing on this uh He's, all of his things is about X. That X in the Hebrew is the cross. That's a tab or a ta. T-A-U, some spell T-A-V. And, um, but anyway, Elon Musk, this is a president, um, Benjamin Netanyahu, which he is a, his last name, he's already started deceiving everyone. Because his last name is Malaski. That's what it should have been, Malaski. Let me see here. Um, his grandfather was Nathan Malaski. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but you'll see. They, so he's already deceiving you with his name. He changed his name to deceive the world. He's been married three or four times. Three times, I think, and had multiple affairs and stuff like that. But Benjamin Netanyahu was trying, supposedly trying to get to talk to Joe Biden, and we, the United States, wouldn't have it. So Netanyahu runs to Elon Musk and asks him to, since Elon Musk has got the used to be Twitter, now is the X app. When you, um, let me pull up Twitter right quick. All right, I want to show you this X. That's a tab in the Hebrew, but this is 1111. Um, you see there's one, two, three. There's four straight lines in this, 1111. There's three dark lines and one white line. This is light, folks. This is, uh, and let's see. 
let me let me do something else here right quick and this tesla right here is a l s e t this is the baphomet baphomet is satan it's got the breast of a woman and you know it's showing the upside down pentagram the baphomet does the horns represent that And that is a result of the, that's what Satan created in the times of Noah was the, um, he wanted to corrupt the DNA of men and women. And that's exactly what he did. He, he changed the DNA and it started with Adam and Eve. It started changing the DNA of man to become, um, there's a, there's a, dis, a distinction between God said, I created he, them. In the word of God, I, Adam and Eve, he created. Woman came from inside the man's rib, which the man came from the dust of the earth, red clay to be exact. But a woman has two X chromosomes. A male, The male has a Y and an X chromosome. All right. So uh, Satan wanted to alter that, and he did. So he, what he created was a form of a man and a woman with both of the... Um, reproductive system in both men and women but anyway that's kind of i've kind of got off the subject a little bit of my video but uh benjamin netanyahu i'm going to talk about them because uh, i'm going to show you i've done a video on this before benjamin netanyahu this is his that's elon musk is let me find um uh, benjamin netanyahu was born on october 21st 1949 Y'all see, he made horns like the Baphomet. This re and one of them is like, when I see this red, I see it as war. And it's going to Jupiter. Um, but there's another horn like that. So I'm saying that he's a deceiver. And I'm going to go over here to his birth chart. Let's see. All right, this is Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, 1021, October 21st, 1949. Now, Mars represents war. Satan represents Satan. Uh, Saturn represents Satan. And um, Venus represents Jesus Christ. But y'all see there's a the Leo, the line of the tribe of Judah. That's what that represents. This is Benjamin Netanyahu. This is a war on the Christian, the followers of Jesus Christ. And um, and is the red dragon. There's Satan underneath Jesus' feet. Like he says in the Bible, the seed of the woman will crush your head, Satan, and you will bruise his heel. But So that's showing you right there. There's a war on there, but Satan's lost right there. Mercury's announcing. And Benjamin Netanyahu is born on a new moon, hidden. He's been, you know, he's, been able to hide his true heart so um and uh there's jupiter the rider on the white horse of revelation chapter six i know most of you christians hadn't researched that out you know y'all think he's the antichrist the rider on the white horse but he's not you research it out in the greek and you start seeing that it, there's no way that that right that horse is pure white um it's but you just research it out in the Greek and you'll see, you'll come to the same conclusion that I did, that the rider on the white horse is not the Antichrist. Jesus Christ is a reaper himself. He says, I come to divide. I bring a sword and I'm dividing my children from the rest, from Satan's children. And he does it with the word, um, with, with his word. His, even his spoken word, I come to divide. I didn't come to put every, I didn't come to make everything. God is a jealous God over his creation, folks. I don't care what anybody says. If I created you, you you would belong to me. You really belong to me. Your body is not your own. My body's not my own. I'm, I would be, if I had a kid, I created a kid. And my kid loved another daddy more than me. Yeah, I'm going to be jealous too. So people condemn God for that. That's ridiculous. 
that is absolutely ridiculous to think just because God says I'm a jealous God. There's a righteous jealous, folks, just like there's a righteous anger, you know. So anyway, what I'm going to get to is uh, Elon Musk here. Let's see, where was he at? Right here. This Elon Musk, his birth chart. He also has got red going down towards um, Jupiter. And this was Benjamin Netanyahu. Now let's look at Elon Musk's birth chart I'm on the Stellarium. All right, the moon is in the rider on the white horse. I've got something not connected up right here. There's a rider on the white horse. The moon is marking the rider on the white, white horse right there. This is Elon Musk. And there Satan is again under the feet of Aries, the lamb, Jesus Christ, and also under the father. You see how that is? This represents an ox, the strong one. Aries represents Jesus Christ as the slain lamb the innocent slain lamb and um there's a sun in orion and and we've been lied to about the constellation of orion um this orion is see where he's aiming towards cetus he's he's uh got a i think it's a club or then this may be look like a bow and arrow maybe i don't really know but when you when you research out the ancient historical documents about who they said Orion was, he is the rider on the white horse. And Jesus said, I will destroy them with the brightness of my coming. So when he comes, the light is going to be the darkness. Jesus, God says that light entered into the darkness. God separated the light from the dark. The light entered the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. The darkness could not even conceive what that light was because it cannot shut that light out um and light is uh darkness is not the opposite of light darkness is the absence of light i mean i know that's going to be hard for the world to understand because the darkness cannot comprehend it Com they can't even comprehend the words that god said the darkness the light entered to, into the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not, because it could not stop that light from entering, piercing through the darkness. All right. And this Elon Musk, he was born on June 28, 1971. Now, this is huge for Benjamin Netanyahu to go to um, Elon Musk and asking him for help. Elon Musk has got the 1111 sign in that logo. Um, okay, he done this, and Elon Musk is telling you, he is showing us that he is a very unstable-minded person. He's, uh, he says he's not for AI. He's, he's making a neural, a brain chip to put in your brain for Neuralink, it's called Neuralink. And he's got all kinds of, he's got all kinds of, then he goes back and he acts like he's a good guy. And this is a suit he had wore. Elon Musk wears a satanic suit of armor at red carpet event. There's a Baphomet with the inverted cross. He is saying he's Antichrist. He is an Antichrist. His ex app well, is that he's creating is supposed to take on half the whole world population. Now, the Antichrist won't rule over the whole world. There's going to be... Uh, people against him but uh against the antichrist during the battle of armageddon but folks donald trump created the space force there's no outer space like we've been taught in schools that space force is to is to fight against jesus christ when he comes when he comes to harvest his people He's, they're going. They're trying to stop it. They're trying to darken the sun. They're trying to do everything they can because we live in a plasma electromagnetic field, and uh, and they're trying to corrupt the uh, the that plasma electromagnetic field to stop that light from coming. And but the darkness down here on this earth is not going to comprehend when that happens because it's because our Creator is. 
there's none like him. There's no other God that can even, I mean, Satan has to get permission from God to do things. But y'all say that, that's absolutely blasphemous right there. This right here, Elon Musk. And for all you followers out there, all right, let's see here. Where is this? Was this Elon? Okay. I'm going to go to dominance because he had a, a very peculiar number here. 4444. He's a Gemini signature. Like there's gates to hell too, folks. There's gates to hell. And uh, Gemini is a, a representative of a gatekeeper. So I looked up what 444 means. My king is wealth. You know, he's a very wealthy man. A son of Saul, a type of the Antichrist. Saul was a type of the Antichrist. And, but get this, folks, a tower. In the Greek, it means a tower like Nimrod's tower. So all these people are playing these Antichrist parts. And then they're showing you what side they're on. And um, let's see here. Um, Saturn was under the feet of the Lamb when Elon Musk was born. The moon was marking Sagittarius, the rider on the white horse, and Orion is the rider on that horse, if you research out the constellations. And I, I put a link in a couple of my videos, you know, to the, to the correct translations of those constellations. It's like a canvas in the sky that God has painted us a picture up there because he always gives a second witness like the word, like the Bible is the word. And another witness is the writing on that, the, his story that's wrote in the, in the heavens. The heavens declare the glory of God. The night uttereth speech. So when those, those um, stars are twinkling, they're emitting a frequency, vibration, and energy. That's how we're created. We vibrate in this electromagnetic field somehow. So the, some, all the physicists say, if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of frequency, vibration, and energy. And, um, and when they, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was God. The Word was with God. So that word is a frequency, that sound, that noise. If your ears are ringing, you're hearing that word. You're receiving a download. That is, I hate to use that analogy because I, I couldn't accept it for a long time. That I didn't, because we're a somehow like a human computer that has a type of free will. No matter how you think about it, that's the truth of it is that we're a, we're a spirit in an avatar human body that God created. I mean, it's the grandest thing of all times to give us in, get us in this three-dimensional world, you know, to exist in this three-dimensional world and then enjoy the creation that God provided for us. I mean, what else could you ask for? Um, I mean, it's, it's a, hey, folks, this earth is our test. God has trained me since I was five years old to be a prince or a king of this earth part of this earth or and and a lot of other kings and priests too out there but no one is yet there's no one i've showed you the image of the king on my thumb no one else has ever show can show you that they they may be another or two that's got that same mark i don't know i've not seen one i mean am i boasting about it no i'm not i want to get my work finished here i'm tired of this place i'm tired of the evil rulers of this world and and I went on a trip to Israel to, just to see if that was God's promised, what I could view as God's promised land. And um, there's some places I went to the Jordan River where Jesus was baptized, and I went to the Dead Sea. But when you go, folks, when you go down to the Dead Sea, you can see the, you can see that this it, that it place is God's. I mean, it is magnificent. It is. I don't even know how to explain it. I, took videos and pictures of it of going down to the Dead Sea because it's it is um it's a site that 
I mean, it is marvelous. I mean, there's nothing. It, it's just greatness when you go down through there and you see how that's created. So, uh, I mean, I'm just saying that is God's promised land to His people is over in Israel. Just the beauty alone is is uh you can see his fingers of creation wrote all over it when you go there you'll know there is a creator a, a an intelligent designer of this whole place when you go to israel especially the dead sea i mean that i i've got it on a phone my picture's on a phone somewhere that i took and uh one of these days that phone's broke i'm gonna get those pictures off of it i hope i can but um For all you, all for everyone that don't believe, um, you know that I am who I say I am. I was born on nine eight nineteen sixty one at eleven fifty five p.m., and that eleven fifty five is marking like the new time coming. Um, let's see, and I'll show you something else too. Um, My name, Travis, means to cross over, a traverser, to carry that I'm the last generation. Um, my middle name, Dwayne, means a wagon maker, like something for you to cross over with, you know. So uh, God had this... My mother and father, they it was uh, they was inspired by God. They didn't even know it when they gave me my name. All right, let me show you something here, and then I'm gonna end this video. Looks like my internet slowed down. So, if y'all bear with me just a minute, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming to my video and um uh, subscribing to my channel because youtube knows who i am too benjamin that y'all knows who i am too because when i went i missed my flight when i landed in uh paris i had 55 minutes to get to my next terminal that airport's like two miles wide i didn't make it in time so they gave me another ticket for the next day the next day when I got on my flight, I seen this guy. I felt something. I looked at him. I thought, I, to myself, I thought, man, I've seen you somewhere before. He was on the other opposite row. There was three rows, and he was on the far ups. And he was standing up, and, you know, he kind of stood up for a long time looking around. And I seen that guy, and something just struck me about this guy. Well, when I get to the Israel Tel Aviv airport, I have to, they, can, they, they hold me. You know, because they're going to interrogate me. They done it at every. I caused planes to be late because they didn't want me getting on that plane going to Israel. They could have shot it down. I mean, they couldn't have shot it down. But you know, I'm just thinking. I rode for 18 hours on a flight, but from Paris the next day, the when I got the when it was my time to go be interrogated while I was in Israel. There that guy was. He had went to Paris to ride the plane back with me all, all the way back to Israel. And uh, he was the head security at the Tel Aviv airport. And uh, there's a, a thing that happened. As I was walking down the hall, I missed my checkpoint, and he hollers out at me. I turn around, I see it's, that, I see it's the guy that rode the plane with me from Paris, that rode, went all the way to Paris to ride the plane with me back to Israel. And uh, they interrogated me for four hours. They give me three sets of interrogators. Excuse me just for a minute. Okay, sorry about that. But anyway, because they know who I am. They was, they was Pope Pius um, Church Organization from Melbourne, Australia had my computer hacked watching me. And whenever they seen I was waking up, that God was waking me up to who I really was, then they sent a guy from the Department of Homeland Security into my house with the AR-15 or an assault weapon, telling me to keep my mouth shut because I'm seeing who everybody around here is. 
they don't want you knowing who you are. But I made the bold claim that that um, that I'm the Elijah. They may be more out there. I don't know. You know, because a, one a star has many spirits in it. So just like God has seven spirits that you don't ever hear about in the church. All right. Two six nine two is one of my. Let's see what that means. Two six nine catastrophe. Um. And two sixty seven in Hebrew gematria means Armageddon. Armageddon. So that's why I'm saying you can decode this system with this Hebrew. Gematria calculator. I don't care what anybody says. It may be evil. It may be satanic. But if it is, I want to know you. How can you defeat your enemy if you don't know what his what his rules and stuff? You know his tools that he uses. So um, catastrophe and overturn. When Jesus comes and overturns this country, I'm going to be taking Satan's vacant spot. That's what I'm going to be doing. And um, you know, you can blame me or not. It don't matter to me. The only thing that matters to me is what my Creator sent me here to do. And I can promise each and every one of them, that's what I'm doing right now, is doing what the path that God put me on. And uh, here a while back, I will, I'm not going to get into all that, but... Um, and I'll just show you some of the... Uh, the 267, that is the frequency to... Heaven's Golden Gate. They threaten Jesus Christ's family. That's what one of the comparable is to me. It's got uh, 2692. They threaten Jesus Christ's family, just like they threatened me. When Department... The newly anointed manifestation of horse. Now, folks, some of these Engl some of these um, mythological, like Greek mythology, Roman mythology, um, like Horus. Some people compare that to like the life of Jesus Christ. Now, I don't. I think it's a little bit different, but I'm not going to say if like the eye of Horus. You know, I mean, um, you just need to re you know research it out. Because you start seeing all these mythological stories, just like Odin, O-D-I-N. It's, it's, when you go look it up in Wikipedia, he's the father of creation. Odin, you know, come here, rep Odin represented the most high God. You know, so I choose to love and forgive you. That's what I've had to do many, many times, you know, because you would You'd be shocked if you really knew some of the things that I had that I've had to the wars that I've had to go through, and I couldn't lose. I had to love no matter what, you know. Not that I had to, but I wanted to. You know, it's just in my heart to love like that. Because if you don't have love for idiots, threaten world war. That's some of the same meanings as my but the one is about the catastrophe yeah i'm calling for it every day to end this in, in this age i'm calling on god every day to end this age i'm ready to go home folks we're not from here we come from heaven god's god's heaven that's where we came from and we come here to, at this end age, to proclaim the end, just like Noah did. Noah, the word says, Noah condemned this earth, then he got on the ark. That is what I'm doing. I'm condemning this evil, the evil rulers of this earth. Even though the earth is the most magnificent place, I condemn the evil rulers of this world. And I'm ready to get on the ark, folks.
the Gemini angel of 10, 10, 10. The Gemini is the um, angel is the gatekeepers. And there's, um, it's the twin. Um, I don't know how, I'm not going to go into all that, what I've researched about that, but. Um, before I made you, I knew you. That's 267. Royal couple, Jesus and Jean. You're about to find out. I believe we're getting close, folks. I believe we're getting close. A turning point for America. We done pass that turning point. Uh, I am Q. I am Q without this. Q is the number 17, which means God's complete victory. And um, in Hebrew, that's what 17 means. Right here, I am Q. That's the seventeenth letter of our English alphabet, and I believe the Gregorian calendar that we're in right now. I believe God showed us by the Enoch was sick, three hundred and sixty-five years old, and God took him. I believe that's the first clue that God knew we was going to be in the Gregorian calendar at at our, at our age, because we have three hundred sixty-five days in a year. Right between the Yeshuas, this one right here. Anyway, I want to thank y'all for coming to my video. Uh, I hope everyone has a great day. And uh, I'm just going to tell you that Jesus says, I am the door. I'm not the door. I'm the representative of that door here on earth. But I am not that door. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The, the path is straight and narrow, and few be that find it. And we have to accept Jesus Christ as what he did to redeem us back. Uh, Jesus Christ is the door back into heaven. And uh, some people say you can't lose your salvation. I will agree. You may not ever really got saved or whatever. But God says, I will not blot your name out of the book of life. If You, you know, I don't want to blot your name out of the book of life. So that's, to me, it's God saying, if you don't accept my, my sacrifice, I gave my only begotten son as a ransom for your sins. And you have to accept that as your salvation. You know, that is the only way back to heaven. If you come up in John, I think it's one, uh, 10 and 1, or maybe 10 and 2. If you try to go to heaven a different way than Jesus Christ, you're, you are a thief and a robber. That's what the Word says, that you, you can't, you'll can't you get rejected out of it. And um, so, um, and and... Here, I don't believe Jesus, he only came here one time as God in the flesh. And then whenever he died and was resurrected, he received his glorified body. Thomas stuck his hand in the holes on his wrist because Jesus said, if you don't believe me, just stick your hands in here because he's, he's some type of flesh and bone without the blood because the blood can't enter into heaven. But... Um, so Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. He's sitting on, on, on at the right hand of the Father on their thrones. He never reincarnated, if that is possible. But I will say that we could have the DNA of Jesus Christ in our blood and the Mother Mary because Jesus Christ it says, they say 6 to 10% of Jesus' blood stayed in his mother, you know, as he has been formed in the womb, because it circulated throughout her body. So we, though, a lot of those people that feel, uh, have this feeling of Jesus in them, like David Ike, I think, or Icky, he said he was Jesus one time, you know, and, uh, and I, I really don't know how to explain that. But those memory cells are opening up. Our DNA is opening up. We see some of our traits in our kids now because they have our DNA. Well, that's the same way with Jesus. If Jesus is, if some of his DNA is in us, God is opening that up. 
and uh, we, we, we feel that part of Jesus. We are the body of Jesus Christ. So that's our DNA waking up. And like those people coming out like David Koresh, Jim Jones, and all them cult leaders, they might have had that feeling. I don't know. I'm just saying that I know people that do have that feeling that, you know, like, hey, I feel like I could be part of Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're the body of Jesus Christ because his blood, his DNA got in us. Thank you all for coming to my video. I hope everyone has a great day.